Hello. House move going okay. Oh, got a stain on my toe. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> As you can see, I'm looking a bit knackered. <sighs> I am. Like, I slept until like nine o'clock this morning. I'm pooped, but I'm like packed. It's just all got to go over there. And then we've got to tidy this place up. Anyways, uh, one of my last, well, deliveries to this place probably. I did start opening it and I saw the top thing and I saw the flowers and I was like, oh, it's my Liberty box fab. So um, if you haven't seen my last video of one of these, um, I, how much do I pay? £20 a month to Liberty and it goes as credit on my account. Um, which I can then spend whenever I want on like beauty and like home stuff like candles and things like that as well so I'm saving them up like to use at Christmas um, and maybe get like the Liberty calendar or some Christmas presents or something but then once a quarter if you like stay signed up they send you some like random goodies that are worth you know a bunch of the monies so in a way you're kind of getting them for free because you know, that £20 that you pay every month is like yours to spend whenever anyway. So, this is this quarter's one. So, it's quite good timing because I saw that the first thing on here um, is is quite cool. I think it's called, is it Otto or Olo? Anyways, it is sleep drops with CBD oil. So, that's really good because sometimes, I mean, like, I didn't have problems sleeping last night. But a couple of nights I've been like up and tossing and turning and like feeling a little bit stressed about things. Not stressed like, um, I don't know, like, like it's just, you know, when you overthink things. And I've taken CBD before on the run up to my operation, which was like almost this time last year, you know, um, and um, it really helped. So that's a groovy one. So looking forward to trying that. This is obviously the leaflet of things that are gonna explain like what they all are. So I might have a look at that in a bit. Next one, we've got a bottle of something. We've got body lotion. Not something I tend to use, to be honest. I have, you know, when you get like sets of stuff, you get like a perfume with a body lotion. You get like the shower gel and the soap and the body lotion. For some reason, like I've always just been left with loads of body lotions. Like I always just forget to use them, but um. You never know, but this is L.A. Bracket, La Bracket. Excuse the extremely dirty fingernails, by the way. I am really sorry, but you know, moving house is dirty work. Anyways, it doesn't really matter. Um, natural body lotion for normal to dry skin. I, I have a greasy skin, um, which was horrible as a teenager, but as an adult, it's freaking fantastic. Um, because greasy skin tends to um, like not get so many wrinkles, which is quite nice. But this has got cocoa oil, cocoa, cocoa butter, shea butter. So it's got like fabulous stuff in it. So there's no reason for me not to use it really. I tell you what is good is these like bottles are obviously handy travel size ones. We've got a big packet of something. Guess what? You'll be naked in one minute. Original coffee scrub. Ooh, it's that. Now, I had one of these in last month's one and it was right nice, actually. So this is a coffee one. Exfoliator for smooth, glowing skin. Made in Australia. Get naked, get wet and get in the shower. Massage scrub all over entire body. Leave on for three minutes. And use me three times per week for best results. So it's got... To Coffee Robusta Seed Flower Pruner some ooh, Sweet Almond Oil Water Sodium Chloride And another bunch of stuff Yeah, Original Coffee Scrub Cruelty Free and Vegan And Waterproof Bag So that's lovely Well it looks like there's probably going to be a few um, Like goes in this So And it does actually just feel like a pot Like a bit of ground coffee in there You know bizarre but yeah that's something i'll use that's cool we've got five little things i do like these little boxes of stuff it's cool 
Oh, lovely. Dangerie, Verden Dangerie, hand and body wash. That's fab. That looks like a syrup that you might actually want to pour in something. I'm going to give this a smell. I love orange, like scented stuff. Oh, that is nice. It's not overly strong. That smells like, um, like a nice, like fruit cake. That's what that smells of. That smells yummy. A gentle effect of wash for frequent use. Um, uplifting bright fusion of citrus and orange blossom. Yeah, now that, that, that smells absolutely lush. Look forward to that. So that's four things and there's another, so you get eight things. I'm gonna pull all these out. They're just like little things, or is that just the lid? Oh no, that's just the lid to something, is it? That's the lid to that. Yeah, so there's just three more things, right. Basilico and Fellini, um, Wilhelm Perfumerie, New York. So I don't know why I did that in a, an accent then, because it just sounded like it needed one. Um, so it, it, it's, it's a perfume, a two mil perfume. In one of these little spray things. Let's give it a go. Ooh, ooh, there's, it smells like Perno. <laughs> I think it's definitely got a touch of like aniseed or something and then there's like another under like that's the the strong thing then it's an, an underlying mm -hmm. I'll have to read about that one in a minute because I can't quite put my finger on what the smell is but honestly first of all it that smells of perno which is not like I don't like perno and I will get a headache from that now because it's so strong, I'll probably have to wash it off. I'm not saying that it's a bad smell, it's just to me it just triggers something. I'm thinking it's probably one that when it's settled down it won't smell so perno -y. So we'll have a look, we'll look up that one in a sec. Oh, okay, some Charlotte Mensa Manchetti Hair Oil. Distribute a small amount through wet or dry hair and massage into scalp, comb through and style. So this is um, basically like a, I mean, like I, I use like an argan oil spray on my hair that, um, and also that BB cream, the, what was it called? Where is it from? Beach something. Anyway, I got that from Liberty at some point and that's blooming brilliant. Um, but yeah, I'll try that. That's pretty cool. My hair is growing like a bit long now and normally at this stage like I can't get it any longer than this but it's still quite thick which is good which means that I should be able to actually get it to grow a decent length for once. And then another sizzly thing we had one of them from uh, last time and that was like an eye cream sort of thing. This is an express flower gel hydrating and toning mask. So, moisturizes and tone skin, apply it on face and neck, leave on for three minutes, then carefully tissue off. Do not rinse off. We've been told. Right. So, I wanted to know about that perfume. So, the Wilhelm Perfumerie. Um, right. Inspired by Italian filmmaker Federico Fellini's in, um, legendary liking for basil. That could be it then like that underlyingness. This Liberty exclusive fragrance bottles the minty peppery kick of the freshly picked herb as it warms on his risotto bianco. This is very abstract. It still smells of perno to me. Maybe that's like just the alcohol thing. Like it's okay. It's not my kind of scent though, to be honest. It's a bit too, like it is giving me a headache. It's a bit too strong, I think. Anyways, right. The, I think my favorite thing is that one because that smells absolutely delicious. Really, really nice. Um, and I'm looking forward to trying that. So that's pretty cool. So that's the Sleep Drops with CBD. Um, what's their name? Um, uh, O-T-O, Otto, CBD sleep drops. In a nutshell, the sleep remedy to try when nothing else works. It's one of a kind tincture 
is expertly blended with 10% CBD and a complementary blend of botanicals to help alleviate anxiety, stress and pain to prepare your body and mind for better sleep. So basically, oh, dispense a dropper under your tongue. Oh, I thought it was going to be like a spray kind of thing. Hold for 30 seconds, swallow and relax. Fab, okay. So, yeah, that's pretty much how my CBD like came before. Well, you just kind of, just a bottle that you glug, but we'll be trying that one later. Nice one. I think that's a good bag of stuff, um, box of stuff, but I will have to go and wash this perfume off. Um, so that's a shame, but there we go. I'll donate that to charity shop or something. When I send another load down, we had a truckload go the other day of stuff to Heart Foundation. So, yeah. Whew. Getting a headache. I'm going to go now. I've got my list of stuff to do today. Um, I've got to go sort out the bathroom shelves. So there we go. Anyways, yeah. Till next time. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.